Jeffrey, 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 thank you so much for being here. Uh, my pleasure, man. Thanks for having me. Of course, any time. Now, uh, I was interested in having you on because we have a lot of filmmakers and screenwriters on this show that I call them, and a lot of them are doing amazing things, but I call people like myself basement artists who are like making great music, making great movies, writing movies in their basements, right? And they have nowhere to go to talk yeah. about it and promote it. And that's what this show is about. And you actually have a book called guide for every screenwriter. Yeah. Uh, which I thought would be great for people who have been on my show or are going to be on my show and people in the audience. So can you oh, yeah. tell everybody how you got into it before you even wrote the book? Like what's your background? Uh, well, uh, I it started as a bet probably like almost 15 years ago on uh, screenwriting. A friend of mine bet me to write a screenplay and he was trying to motivate himself. So I, I took the bet and uh, fell in love with it. But I'm, I guess, a little obsessive. So when I start learning something I'm really into, I, uh, I like dive into it. I need to understand every like minuscule detail of something. I can't just memorize how to do something. I have to truly learn and understand what it is in order for me to uh, be able to play in that sandbox. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I went as far as I could to the origins of story and how it, how it affected and influenced screenwriting. And uh, it was, it was pretty, it was a great journey, but uh, it turns out that I was able to take everything I've learned over the years and put it into a reference guide on screenwriting, which is like an all encompassing um, a book on screenwriting, which is, which makes the, makes the process easily accessible. Wait, so if you did this as a bet, what were you doing before this? Um, I was in the medical imaging field. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's <laughs> totally a natural related. progression, right? Right. Wow. So how, when did this start? How long ago was that? Probably 15 years ago, I oh would gosh. say maybe getting on 20 years now. Cause I'm in my mid forties and I started in my twenties. And at what point were you like, you know what? I need to catalog this for other people because I think it's yeah, so smart. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I started a company um, called WeFixYourScript.com where I would go through and I would fix screenplays for um, films that were shooting, that were having trouble, or for films that were getting ready to go into production. I was mentoring other writers. I was teaching screenwriting. And I was invited to uh, go down to Ghana, Africa, and teach screenwriting for their filmmakers. Um, but I would only have like a week or two to be able to do it. So I had to condense everything into a screenwriting course because they didn't have one. Um, so I just took everything I knew and I created a, a really long slide presentation that I could teach over a week for these, these kids in Ghana. Um, but it ended up falling through. So I then just traveled around the country going to different film festivals, teaching my screenwriting seminars that I'd come up with for these kids. And inevitably, people started asking me if I had a book. So mm -hmm. I figured, okay, I can turn this into a book, but I wanted to turn it into something that is easy to understand that kind of breaks down the secrets of screenwriting that isn't like a boring textbook. So I really turned it into this um, fun reference guide that, uh, that people can use. I mean, I had an Emmy award winning director use it on his last shoot. Um, I know writers that are in the industry that keep it on their desk. So it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, it's, I mean, has it, well, I guess that's the question is, has it changed over the 15 years since you started doing it with, or is kind of the formula or what you're teaching people, has that stayed the same even through COVID yeah. and, you know, all the different technology things that have happened over the last decade? That's a really good question. I would, I would say that screenwriting as a literary art, I would say is very organic. It evolves over time, but the really interesting thing about screenwriting is it evolves through reduction. So as newer generations of screenwriters come in, they find quicker, easier ways to write a script. Whereas back in the day, something would be a lot longer of a description. Now it's like four lines or less, you know, anything over five is considered long and, or you don't really get establishing shots anymore. Whereas back in the day that was standard. So um, the game changes, but it, it changes 
into a more efficient model, which I think is really fascinating. Uh, and it's something to really make sure as you're in the industry to keep an eye on, like, okay, how are things changing? How are things growing? Um, the book that I, the guide for every screenwriter, really makes sure to kind of, st it stays on the forefront of those new and interesting changes. And so, I mean, I, yeah, I'm even working on a new edition now. Oh, that's what I was going to ask. What's exciting for you about screenwriting that you, that you're doing a new edition there has to be something that you're like, oh, I need to add that. This is fun or exciting yeah. and people should know. Yeah. Well, so it's the guide for every screenwriter. The first edition, which is available now, focuses heavily on feature formatting. So in, in feature, in, in writing a feature in general, it's not just format. It encompasses everything. Um, but the second edition will involve television. Mm -hmm. So I will, I will have a feature uh, section of the book and a television section of the book, which which will be it would be amazing because the stuff that I talk about is for writing television, you can only find bits and pieces in different places. This really covers everything. I think for me as a creator like that, I, I, all I ever wanted to do was host the show, right? Like I didn't want to edit videos. I didn't care about lighting, any of that stuff. So I'm always searching for like that one thing that has everything I need that I don't yeah. have to Google 9,000 things. So I exactly. love that this is the place like you have the book that people can go as a reference guide that has everything you need. So you don't have to piece it together. I, I yeah. think that's so cool. Thank you. Um, where can people get the book? Anywhere. I mean, you, you can get it on Amazon, of course. That's like your, your basic. But I mean, you can get it at Barnes & Noble. You can get it... Um, I mean, Target and Walmart sell it online. It's crazy where you can find find the book. <laughs> um, and uh, I know there's some there's indie publishers out there that are stocking it on shelves now. So you can get the guide for every screenwriter um, really anywhere. It's kind of awesome. And um, just so you know, I don't know if you're aware of it. it. It was just listed by the Book Authority as the greatest screenwriting book of all time. It hit number one on the list of 89 screenwriting books. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Thanks. Well, does the, like do you take all that in, or is that just like, don't think about that too much, keep going? It doesn't hit. It doesn't. It doesn't yeah. land. It doesn't hit. You yeah. know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. I, I pull it up, I see the website, and I was like, okay. I mean, but it doesn't because I'm so close to it. Now, when my kid sees it, he of course loses his mind. Um, but yeah, so I just keep doing my thing. You know? Does he have? How old is your kid? He's sixteen. Is, does he have any aspirations to be in the creative world? He he puts his toes in you know he did some screenplays when he was younger and he actually won some awards he, he got invited to la and um ended up going uh doing a red carpet thing down there for a uh children's film festival so he he's had some exposure to it uh he still dips his toes in it here and there but he's 16 you know he's yeah. figuring out what he wants to do right now he's obsessed with lock picking yeah. you know so it's like <laughs> but it's just it's it's fun watching his little journey as he kind of develops his 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 brain and his mind that's so cool. Do you have, can you share some like a little info of in the book, some tips that will, that you can share with people that might get them, you know, enough to like yeah. get them to want to buy the book then and give away too much. <laughs> really pitch this book so people want to buy it. Yes. I heard, I heard that if you purchase the book, it extends your life by 10 years. That's perfect. <laughs> done no no over. A, uh yeah so we got it guys uh so uh the book is really if you're interested in screenwriting if you're interested in storytelling it takes an approach that it makes it easily accessible uh you can read the book in a day day and a half i mean it, and it's easy to reread it pick it up and it's structured so that you can go to whatever section you're interested so if you want to develop a character you go right to that section mm -hmm. if you want to learn formatting you go to the formatting section. If you want to learn how to sell your screenplay and brand yourself as a writer, you go to that section of the book. So it is really easy to um, figure out what you want to do based on where you are in, on your journey. I had a mother call me up and she was in tears because her son was autistic, is autistic, and went to um, college for filmmaking, for screenwriting, and he was not able to keep up in class and really follow what they were doing. And in, and in fact, as a, as a mentor and instructor, I've had students who have graduated with MFAs still struggle with writing a screenplay, which to me is crazy. You spent hundreds of thousand dollars. So a friend had recommended the guide for every screenwriter to this woman to have her son read it. He read it 
um, and then started writing a screenplay immediately and understood how to do all of it. She read it and she got it and they started writing it together and it became oh, wow. this family bonding experience between the two. She was, she, she was in tears. I was moved. Um, and to know that I was able to be part of that journey to bring that mother and son together. I mean, that made it worth it. If I never sold another copy, I got to touch that person's life and bring a mom and son together in that special way. So to me, I'll have that for the rest of my life. So uh, the book really is, it, it just, it just hits that right kind of level for anybody on the journey. That's so, and I'm assuming that's not anything in your head when you were writing that book of how that would land. So what like icing on the cake that it, that it has moved oh, yeah. people to that extent to actually connect with people. You also have a podcast, successful screenwriters. So once you buy the book and read it and you want to continue the conversation, then you can listen to successful screenwriter. Want to tell everybody about that? Yeah. The successful screenwriter podcast, I reach out to, you know, LA writers, writers that have, you know, movies out right, right now that are like Netflix originals or Paramount plus, but then I also have writers who are doing the indie thing and I bring them on the show and we kind of figure out, okay, we discuss their path to success and what they've done and how they've discovered it and what tricks and they have of the trade, because this is such a, a crazy path to really try and figure out what you want to do and how you want to get there. There's no one correct way. And I really want the community to find success. So I thought if I can bring on all different types of writers, whether they're, you know, professional LA Hollywood writers, or if they're successful indie, indie writers or directors, let's get them on the show. Let's talk about it. And then we, 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 we chat about the craft and about how to, you know, write screenplays or how to develop characters. So it really is a great tool for anybody, anybody out there interested in screenwriting or um, in the process right now and, and how to, how to improve. I love everything that you're doing because it's all so helpful. It's just like, here's what I've learned. Here's what I know. Take it and and learn. And I, I appreciate that. How can people best, besides buying the book, besides listening to the podcast, how can people connect with you yeah. and reach out to you and, and uh, support you? Well, there's a couple of ways. They can go to the, the successful screenwriter.com and I've got a website that has all kinds of stuff on there that people can access and like free screenplays from Hollywood films or they can, you know, videos of my own. But if you want to hit me up individually, you just go on Twitter and hit me at, at screenwriter pod at screenwriter pod is my handle. Um, and people go on there, ask me questions, chat about stuff and uh, and can follow what I'm doing. I love it. It's a pleasure having you here today. Thanks. I really appreciate it, Richard. Thank you very uh, much. Jeffrey Calhoun, everyone. We'll insert clapping because then it'll be like people are here. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you.